If you're planning on getting a Bachelor of Science in Cybersecurity and Information Assurance from WGU, stick with me. I've got some shortcuts to get you that degree faster while saving on time and money. Hi, my name is Joby and I'm a college advisor with Study.com. Today, we're going to look at WGU's BS in Cybersecurity and Information Assurance degree. I've got the full degree plan that I'll break down for you course by course and show you how to hack in some time saving strategies. And stick around to the end and I'll break down how to save over $7,000 on this degree. This is a great degree if you're interested in a career in the cybersecurity or information assurance industries. Working as a cybersecurity analyst, systems engineer, or network architect are just a few of the jobs you could pursue. Ready to jump in? Great, let's go. You can see that I've grouped these courses by the degree requirements and WGU courses. We split them into categories like general education, scripting and programming, risk management and more to help you know which courses count for what part of the program requirements. You also see quite a few study.com courses listed next to WGUs. Over 200 study.com courses are approved for college credit transfer. That said, the courses listed in this map have been approved by WGU for these specific requirements, but these are the only ones you can use. The degree map linked in the description has alternatives if there's any others to choose from. I'll explain why I put each one in its slot as we go. If you're overwhelmed by all this info at once, you are not alone, but it's going to be okay. This is your one-stop shop for this degree, so feel free to pause the video, open the degree plan link in the description below, save a copy, and edit your own version as we go through each requirement. That way you'll be able to save your preferred course options and know that they'll work for you. And if you're not able to now, make sure you make a note for later. Your future self will thank you. Less stress, more organization. Now let's dive in. We'll start with your gen ed courses. Let's check out the first line. This is for the composition requirement and you have a few study.com course options. You can take English 104, 204, 105, 205, or 305, whichever course you prefer. I suggest English 104 for this degree because most students I've spoken with prefer it as a slightly easier version. That said, I'd encourage you to check out all the courses and the written assignments out for yourself to see if you have a preference. Health, fitness, and wellness is next. Study.com's Health 101 is what I recommend, but Nutrition 101 is also an option. Health 101 doesn't go into as much detail of anatomy as Nutrition 101 does, so you might find it a bit easier. Moving down, we have American Politics. Study.com's Political Science 102 is a good match for this course. This is a bit on the longer side, but there are no extra assignments. With longer courses, I highly suggest taking placement tests whenever possible. These are risk-free. Just answer what you know and be honest when you don't. That way you won't accidentally test out of material you need to know based on guesses, but you'll move past what you've already learned. It's a win-win. You'll take ethics and technology with WGU. Next up is applied probability and statistics with two study.com equivalents. I recommend Statistics 101, especially if you don't have much experience with this topic. If you feel confident with statistics and are interested in learning about more advanced concepts, specifically for business, you might want to check out Business 212. One tip for taking Statistics 101 on study.com, you'll be able to use several stats tables in the final exam. There's a z-scores and standard normal curve areas one, a t-distribution table, and one on binomial properties. You can print all of these out and use them on the final exam. So don't worry too much about memorizing huge sets of data. Instead, focus on which equations and formulas apply for which problems. This will be critical on that test. Introduction to Systems Thinking is another course you'll take at WGU. Next, we have Applied Algebra. You have a few options to choose from here, but I recommend Study.com's Math 101. This is the easiest option, especially if you aren't very confident in math or want a course that you could move through quickly. But if you excel at math, check out Math 103, 104, and 105. These options are a bit more advanced and will give you a backbone in basic calculus to boot. You also have options when it comes to the natural science lab requirement. So if you have a favorite science subject or topic, I'd usually suggest picking a course closest to that. Quick note though, some biology and chemistry courses on study.com also have virtual labs to complete along with the course itself. I put astronomy 101 here because it's the only option without a lab, so you might be able to work through it faster compared to other courses. 
Next is introduction to communication and study.com has communications 101 that'll work for this. This is a great course to move through quickly. It has relatively easy to handle projects and just over 100 lesson quizzes to complete. Business 113 and 324 are also options here. So if you don't mind a bit more work and think you might want to work in a business environment, then look into the business courses. Moving on down, we have critical thinking. Humanities 201 critical thinking and analysis is the study.com equivalent. You should be able to move through quickly, especially if you have any familiarity with the topics covered, like types of arguments and critical analysis methods. Here's a tip to help you save time when writing your essays. You can check the essay topics ahead of time. When you're going through the lessons that are relevant to the essays, you might want to pop open the take notes feature on study.com. You've got the full transcript down below, but using the notes ties your note to a timestamp in the video lesson. So feel free to pause, write down something on your provided notes or your own notepad and play the video as much as you'd like. Then open the notes tab of your account whenever you're ready to write your essays and bam, it's all right there at your fingertips between your notes, transcript and flashcards. And that's the end of your gen eds. One section down, nice work. Let's continue with the next section, operating systems. There's just one course here, Linux foundations, and you'll take it at WGU. Information Assurance also has one required course. That's Introduction to Cryptography, and you'll take it at WGU as well. The Scripting and Programming Core is made up of two courses, and you can take both of them with study.com. The first one is Scripting and Programming Foundations. You have three options here, Computer Science 109, 112, and 115. I put 109 here because it's a more general overview of computer science. If you don't have much experience with programming, it might be a good idea to start here. But if you feel confident and want to take a closer look at programming in C++ or Java, check out the other courses. Next up is Introduction to Programming in Python. Study.com's Computer Science 113 is a perfect match for this one. Let's look at the next section, Network and Security. There are two courses here. The first one is the Foundations course. Study.com's Computer Science 108 is a good equivalent. You'll learn all the basics, how networks are structured, what makes them tick, and how to keep them running smoothly and securely. The second course is the Applications course, and you'll take it at WGU. Moving on down to the next core, we have Wireless and Network Technologies. Emerging Technologies and Cybersecurity is the only course here, and you'll take it at WGU. IT Fundamentals is next. The first course in this section is Introduction to IT. You have two study.com options here, Computer Science 102 and Business 109. I recommend Computer Science 102 for this degree. While Business 109 covers some general IT topics, Computer Science 102 dives deeper into the world of computers and networks. You'll learn essential concepts like programming, data structures, and algorithms, which are all fundamental building blocks of cybersecurity. You'll take the other two courses in this section with WGU. These are IT foundations and IT applications. Okay, check-in time. How you doing? We only have a few more course sections to go through, so hang on, we are almost done. Next up is the business of IT. This core has two classes. The first, business of IT applications, must be taken through WGU. The second course is business of IT project management, and you can take this with study.com. Business 311 is the equivalent. Penetration testing has just one required course, and you'll take it at WGU. Moving on down, we have data management. This section has two courses, and both of them can be taken through study.com. For data management foundations, you can choose between Computer Science 107 or Analytics 103. While both courses are valuable, Computer Science 107 provides a more solid foundation for cybersecurity by focusing on the core database concepts and their security implications. The second course is Data Management Applications, and Study.com's Computer Science 204 is a great fit. The next section is Hacking Countermeasures and Techniques. You'll see just one course here, Cyber Defense and Countermeasures. You can take Study.com's Computer Science 331 to fulfill this requirement. You'll learn how to identify security threats, analyze risks, and build defenses to keep hackers at bay. Next up is Risk Management. You'll take this course with WGU. For security systems, analysis, and design, you have two required courses. The first one is Fundamentals of Information Security, and you can take study.com's Computer Science 110 or Computer Science 202. The second course is Information Systems Security, and you'll take it at WGU. You'll see just one course in the web and cloud security section, and you'll take it at WGU. 
Next up is ethics and cyber law. This section has one course and you'll also take it through WGU. Moving down, we have digital forensics and incident response. Study.com's Computer Science 336 is a great equivalent for the required digital forensics and cybersecurity course. You'll learn how to investigate cyber crimes and threats by analyzing digital evidence left behind on networks. Think CSI cyber. The network section has just one required course by the same name. You'll take this one through WGU. The IT capstone written project is the final requirement. You'll take it at WGU. It's a hands-on opportunity to showcase your skills and apply what you've learned throughout your program. There you go. I know that was a lot to go through, but now you know how to earn a bachelor's degree in cybersecurity and information assurance from Western Governors University with study.com. You can earn a total of 59 credits on study.com for this degree. That's across 18 classes. Remember to budget your time and use the tips I described for each course. On study.com, you can do two courses each month for $235. For a little more, you can do more courses. So if you really want to speed through, it's worth it to pay more. But if you just do two a month, these 18 classes will take just nine months. That's $2,115 you'd pay to study.com. At WGU, at the same pace, you'd have to pay for two semesters. You can't go month to month, so that costs $9,130. So even if you don't go faster than two courses per month, you're saving $7,015. That's a significant savings when you're trying to avoid getting buried under a mountain of student debt. Remember, you can go faster. It's $70 on Slay.com to take an additional exam each month. If you can do three or even four courses each month, you'll end up saving another five or $600. If you can do that, great. But I think two courses per month is a more manageable pace for most students that I work with. If you're considering cybersecurity and information assurance as a career field, this degree is a fantastic fantastic pathway towards your goals and your dreams. With WGU and Study.com's affordable pricing and flexible course schedules, this is by far one of the fastest and least expensive ways to earn a bachelor's degree in cybersecurity and information assurance from a reputable university. Just remember to grab any transcripts of prior college experience and fill in the rest with Study.com and WGU courses. WGU advisors are happy to help plot your degree map, and there's also Study.com advisors standing by to help Help you pick out courses specific to your interests and your career goals. So reach out whenever you need help and make a plan to get started as soon as you can because that's one day closer to your goals and where you want to be. Thanks for watching and if you're not 100% sure about cybersecurity and information assurance or WGU, check out the other videos on this channel for other ideas. Like this video and subscribe to this channel for more great degree hacking tips and tricks. We've got you covered. Good luck.